Hello friends, today is Friday, it is June the 19th, and here's today's daily devotion. The scripture reading comes out of the Gospel according to John in chapter 10, verses 7 through 11. So again Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. This devotion uh, from our daily bread is called Life to the Full. It's by Remy Oyedele. He says, 17th century philosopher Thomas Hobbes famously wrote that human life in its natural state is solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. Hobbes argued that our instincts tend toward war and a bid to attain dominance over others. Thus, the establishment of government would be necessary to maintain law and order. The bleak view of humanity sounds like the state of affairs that Jesus described when he said, All who have come before me are thieves and robbers. But Jesus offers hope in the midst of despair. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy, but then... The good news, I have come, that they may have life and have it to the full. Psalm 23 paints a refreshing portrait of the life our shepherd gives us. In him we lack nothing and are refreshed. He leads us down the right paths of his perfect will, so that even when we face dark times we need not be afraid, for he is present to comfort us. He causes us to triumph in the face of adversity and overwhelms us with blessings. His goodness and love follow us every day and we have the privilege of his presence forever. May we answer the shepherd's call and experience the full abundant life he came to give us. I like how this um, lays out that, uh, you know, in the natural, as Hobbes, you know, being a philosophy student, as Hobbes would have said, uh, life without government uh, would be uh, brutish and short, right? Um, but maybe it's not government we need so much as Jesus. Um, certainly we're in troubling times right now um, with all of the you know the pandemic and all of the other unrest that's going on in the country um, and what we really need out of all of it is just more Jesus right um, so how are we as Christians today um, living that how are we speaking Christ into the situations? How are we demonstrating grace? How are we um, advocating? Um, if that, you know, if we feel that's part of who we are, right? How are we advocating for justice, for mercy, um, for grace? Um, we are the hands and feet of Christ, yes? Today? And uh, so we're the ones that have to do this. We're the ones that are left to to be the peacemakers, to be the the grace givers, um, because our governments might maintain law and order, but they're not going to be the peacemakers. They're not going to be the grace givers. They're not going to be the hands and the feet of Jesus. Anyway, your thought for today. Hope everybody's doing well. Take care and God bless. Bye now.